after they prayed, the building shook, they were filled with the Holy Spirit, and they preached the Word of God with boldness. Wow, what a great scripture. Good morning, Pastor Ken Harvest Church. I want to share with you this week about being a, a positive, powerful person. Spoke recently in Harvest Church about five qualities of a great church. I'd like to share with us today, out of the same passage of scripture, what does it take to be a great person? Don't you just love great people? You know, they're positive, they're upbeat, they make good things happen. There are five keys I want to give to us, five qualities I want to give to us. The first one comes right out of Acts 4, 31 and verse 32. That's where I'll be this week. It says this, after prayer. You know, awesome things happen after prayer. Are you a prayer? Do you pray? Do you talk to God? Uh, do you enter God's presence with worship? Do you call on the name of the Lord? Do you seek His wisdom? Uh, do you have His love in your life? You see, all those things come to us through a relationship with God, through Jesus Christ, through prayer and communication with God. Those are some of the most positive, gracious, dynamic people I know are people who know God and love God. I want to be one of those. I want to be more like that. Could say I want to be more like Jesus, right? What about you? Will you pray that prayer with me this morning? Lord, I want to be a powerful, positive person for good. We need those kind of folks. Let's pray. I'll be right back. Let's pray together on this Monday morning. You ready? Lord, I want to be a positive difference maker. Come on. I want to make a positive difference in people's lives. Lord, in people's lives, in my family, in my workplace, in my community. So, Lord, fill me with your love today. Help me be a person who prays, who talks to you, communicates with you, and walks in your love and your grace. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. <music> 